Hey everyone, how is going? This is your girl Denise. Welcome back to my channel, The Denise Experience. Um, so, I usually make uh, spaghetti bake for my family. And then I have a lot of people, you know, who ask me about, like, how do I make it? And, like, all that stuff. So, today I'm going to show you some of the things that I use. Um, I don't necessarily use the same things at each time I do this. But this is, like, the basics of what I use. So, let me show you. So, sometimes I put shrimp in there. Um, but I'm not going to put any shrimp in there today. So you got your package of spaghetti. Um, this is uh, some Italian pasta zara, organic. Basically, I got it on sale at Publix. Buy one, get one. Um, I have ground turkey. And it's just a one pound ground turkey. And then I have like my Hillshire. I get the turkey, smoke, whatever turkey ones they have. Here is the dice. It's Hunt. This is the diced tomatoes, roasted garlic. Sometimes I put like the um, like zucchini and stuff like that in there, but I'm not doing that today. Here is my Classico. This is my sauce. So, you know, I'm into like easy meals. So I'm not going to sit here and try to make a spaghetti sauce. I'm just going to use one that's already from the store. This one is for cheese. I use like any any flavor so it doesn't even have to be this one but um, I use all in a sauce that's already made and I just enhance it by putting my own things in there you know to make it taste better so I do use olive oil um, to cook with so I'm going to fry my um, sausage in that and my turkey Got a lot of seasoning here. I'm so upset. I don't have cayenne pepper. I don't know why I don't have cayenne pepper in my cabin, um, but I don't. So I'm just going to put a habanero in there to cook with. I'm not going to cut it because I do want a little spice to it. Green onions. I love green onions. This gives your food flavor. Okay, so cook with that. I'm not going to use all of that, but you know. Seasoning. So we got marjoram. I'm just going to put like a little bit of that. Rosemary, just a little pinch. I love to put my herbs. You got sage. You can do fresh ones if you want. Um, just a pinch of that celery seed because I'm telling you, a pinch goes a long way. You taste that celery taste. Um, this is thyme. A pinch of that also. Basil, I could put a whole bunch of that. Oregano, I put a whole bunch of that. Um, that's the celery seed again. Um, onion powder. I do use garlic powder. I don't see my garlic powder. So, um, um, parsley, I put a bunch of these also. I gotta have my Lowry's. Lowry seasoned salt. That's all the salt I need because the herbs just get the flavor into it. And here's my black pepper. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that. So, for my, um, I usually start just cooking my turkey first. So, I'm gonna get that in the pot. Um, and cook this down and then after I cook this down, I'm going to set this aside um, While that's cooking, I usually slice my sausages my turkey sausage and then when this Turkey ground turkey is done cooking then I'll cook my sausage and if I'm doing shrimp, I'll do the same thing um, I'll set everything aside cook everything separately and then add it into the pot together. Oh, I'm also going to use garlic minced garlic I want to be there and baby dance the night away I let my head down if I want Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better so here is my minced garlic, and it could be any anything. I just had this big old jar, as you can see, we definitely use it. Sometimes I cut up garlic, like the fresh garlic, put it in there, you know. So here's my turkey. It looks like it's a little bit, but this pot is big. So let me turn this stove up. Um, this is what I do. I just do, instead of... Um, getting this like brown and um oil i just use water i throw water in there and i like cook it just with water i'm not gonna season it yet i'm just gonna cook it until i don't see any red you know until it gets to that brown color 
I stir it around a few times because I want it to be broken up. Oh, and if you want an easy way, I guess I should have showed you of like making sure your ground, your ground meat is like actually ground because you know like when it comes out of the pack, you have to like crush it up, just like, I don't know, keep stabbing at it to get it all separated like this. So this is what I do. So I actually take a strainer and I put the meat in a strainer and I put it um, under the, um, like my sink, just rinse some water underneath it. Like I'm, it's like I'm rinsing it really. Um, and then that, like I press all of the water out of it. Like I press it around get all the water out and then I just dump it in the pan and it's separated. So that's the way you can separate your um, meat and make it like ground. Coming along, look, we're almost there. Almost there, almost cooked. I'm not gonna season this until I add my sausage. You know, like when I saute my garlic and my green onions. All right, so here is the ground turkey that I cooked. I'm just, I just placed it in this bowl. I chopped up my green onions. And here's my sausage. So I just cut it in half down the middle and then make slices. I really want to put shrimp in this, but I'm going to give some to my neighbor and he's allergic to shrimp. So I'm not going to put no shrimp. So here's my same pot. Just going to put some olive oil in there and let it get a little heated. So just get letting this get a little brown. And then I started boiling my water for my pasta. Alright, so cooked my sausages. I just added it with my turkey. So this um this pot is a little hotter than I want it to be a little. But Let's go and put that garlic in there. Minced garlic. If you like a lot, go ahead and put a lot. Oh, that's a good deal. And my spaghetti. It's Italian. It should have garlic in it, right? I think this would be nice if I put some carrots in there, but I'm not. My pepper is in there too, so I just saute this. Saute, saute. I'm not gonna open that because it'll be really hot. I just wanted to give my pot some flavor. Know what I mean? Here's a can. You throw the entire thing in there. Bam. Just pour those in there. Stir. that all together and then I'm gonna open my can of um, sauce oh and you know what sometimes I use a can and a half because I need my stuff to be juicy so I'm gonna put this can in and see what it looks like okay Damn. now I need to get all of my sauce out all of it so here's some water just pour some water in there. Not a whole lot. Oh. Let me get this little bit off the side. You put that top back on. Shake that thing up. Bam. Get all your sauce out. Bam. Look at that. So. I have here a classical spicy red pepper. Hmm. I'm just gonna put about a half or like a quarter of this in there because I need me some sauce. So 
so I threw about oh, just a quarter in here. Time to put your seasonings, baby. And I just season to taste, so yeah. Season salt. Just a little bit of black pepper. A lot of onion powder. <laughs> put a lot of that. I do put a lot of parsley. Yeah, so cook it in there. Cook it in there, cook it in there. A lot of oregano. We want all that Italian flavor. Cheese. Now I will put more cheese on my top because I'm doing this like it's a macaroni and cheese, but we know it's not. It's spaghetti bake. Oh yeah, some double cheddar, mozzarella, all your Italian cheeses. Oh, I forgot. So paprika is another seasoning that I use that I don't have. So no paprika, no cayenne pepper. But those are two things that I add to my spaghetti bake. So here's my top. Nice and cheesy. So I'm going to put this in the oven for about 20, maybe 30 minutes until all my cheese is melted. You don't want to keep it in there any longer because you don't want to dry the, all the juices out of your spaghetti. You still want to have some juice in there. So don't put it in the oven for too long to dry it out. Okay. 20 30 minutes make sure that cheese is melted in nicely my 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 so this is what we look like after 20 minutes so I like my cheese a little more brown almost like a burnt looking so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in for another 10 minutes I want my cheese to be a little more brown than that and a little more melted than that 10 minutes later look at her do you see it look at that still nice and hot but you see like my cheese is a little more brown around the edges i actually like it when it's a little bit burnt <laughs> but look at that oh my gosh so you just let it sit for a little bit let it set before you cut into it however long you want to wait 10 minutes 20 minutes so we'll wait about 10, 15 minutes and then we'll cut into it. Here we go. So it's not bubbling anymore. I'll let it sit. I don't know how many minutes that was for. You use a knife, you can use your little, um, I don't know, what is that called? Spatula? What is that called? I don't know. Anyway, so we're gonna cut this like we're cutting mac and cheese, bro. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. Cut this here. I love the edges. I'm an edge person. Make sure that is cut. It's going to be weird for me to do this with one hand, but because I'm actually holding my phone while I'm recording this. Look at this spaghetti bake. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, look at the heat coming out of it. Look at that. Look at all the meat in between. Put that on that, pla that paper plate, child. Mm -hmm. Not doing no dishes. So, piece of cheese. I actually go crazy with my spaghetti bake. I'm telling you. I would put like all kinds of things in it. I really have a glare in my glasses. Anyway, I will put um, carrots in it. I already told you about the shrimp, um, zucchini, um, squash. Yeah, I will put like a whole bunch of things. I, I will hide vegetables in there because my kids are going to eat it because they love it so much and they get to eat their vegetables too. So um, this is the basis of it. And... You can make this at home. The family is going to love it. It takes about, probably about an hour, say an hour and a half when you're prepping everything. But Thanksgiving, Christmas, 
birthday parties, put this on your menu. Put spaghetti bake on your menu. You see the cheese that was in the middle? If you want to add more Parmesan to it, you can. But this cheese right here should be enough. This sucker is hot. I don't want to burn my mouth. It's, I can still see the steam coming out of it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. I hope you can see it. It is still so hot. Okay. So delicious. And you can do your garlic bread with that on the side. Oh, that Hawaiian roll also tastes good with it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Got that little spice to it. So darn good. So darn good. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, baby. It is so, look at this. Piping hot. Look at this. Mm. This this thing is it's gonna be gone. This whole pan is gonna be gone because my husband is not going to allow this to just stay in the house. It's gonna be gone. You want to get um, your salad on the side, whatever you eat with it. Salad, get your bread, a glass of wine. It's so good with, with the spaghetti. Those are, That's for my older people. So there you have it, everyone. Spaghetti bake. I like to say it like that, not bake spaghetti. Spaghetti bake. It just makes it sound much better. And you can um, have this dish with your family. Everyone's going to love it. Everyone's going to love this way of eating spaghetti. Uh, once you eat spaghetti this way, you will not want it any other way. Okay? All right, so this is the, the Denise experience. I'm Denise. Um, cooking for you today, just showing you how to make something. So um, share, like, subscribe, put your comments below. Uh, if you tried the recipe, go ahead and put your comment below. Let me know what you thought of it. Did you like it? Did it come out right? Whatever you want to say. If you want to direct message me, ask me any questions, you can also do that as well. So let's take one more look at the spaghetti. Oh, I um, actually already cut a piece for my neighbor and took it to my neighbor because I promised my neighbor the next time I make this, I will give him a slice. So it's this late at night. And I went over and gave my neighbor a slice. We're cool like that. Ah, look at that. Look at that cheese. Oh my gosh. Look at the sauce. See why I like it wet? Look at that. Nice and juicy. This is going to be gone by tomorrow. It won't be here. My family's going to eat it all. All right. Until next time. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching this video. I know it's like a, a longer video than I usually have, but thanks for watching it. All right. If you want to see me uh, make anything else, just let me know and I'll make it. So this is like easy mom meals. Yeah. So you can feed your family. All right. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I want to be there and baby dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time. Does it sound fine? Can't do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can't do better.